Hello, it's Darren at Moonhair Studio, and this Christmas there seems to be a blizzard of free plugins available. So, what do we do if we've gone on a plugin download frenzy and our plugin list looks like an encyclopedia with no index? <laughs> So what got me thinking about this was I was downloading the Valhalla Supermassive free reverb, uh, well worth a look if you get a chance, and also Arturia's chorus from the Juno 6 emulation uh, of the keyboard that they've done. And this one holds uh, a particular memory for me because when I was a young teenager, the only effect that I actually had to put my electric guitar through was the chorus from one of the Roland uh, keyboards, which had an in out at the back and you could sort of plug your, your guitar through that and get a chorus effect. And that served me quite well for a, at least a couple of years. Um, so I'm really looking forward to hearing this beautiful, warm uh, kind of analogy 80s chorus again and using that. But of course, once you've started downloading lots of plugins, whether they're free or not, you do end up with quite a bloated list. And if we go into the edit here um, and click down to add a an effect. Now, you know, your default list can actually be quite large. If you click on this, it'll expand it and you can see, you know, I probably haven't got as many plugins as, as a lot of people have, but even my list is pretty huge. So it's best really to curate your own lists of different plugins. And the way you do that is not from here. It's not easy to, to get to if you don't know where it is, but go up into your studio menu, go down to VST plugin manager. And from here, you'll be able to create your own plugin list. So you've got all your VST effects listed here. And you can literally drag and drop them across. So if we create a new collection, um, you can either select an empty collection. You can add all of those plugins there, or you can use the current collection at the moment because I'm on default. That would be all of the plugins anyway, but we'll co collate an empty list. Um, new. And then you can create subfolders to put your effects into. So let's do a verb. And then if you know the name of the manufacturer of your plugin, you can click up here on vendor and just sort by the, the manufacturer. You can click on category. Um, not all third party plugins will have useful categories. Certainly most of your stock plugins should. Um, or just the name of the actual effect if you if you happen to know what it is. So for instance, uh, I really like the Valhalla reverbs. So if I scroll down, I've got the new Supermassive, which I've just downloaded for free. Again, I'd, I'd suggest you get that. It's absolutely brilliant. And also Vintage Verb, which I use all the time. Um, and let's do a Dynamics. Uh, so I, I'll create one that I can put some, um, let's, let's do a category search for dynamics. Um, and we've got things like gates and um, compressors, etc. MJUC from Clanghelm, love that. So we'll pop that in there um, and say a, a stock multiband compressor. Um, and so you can build up whatever list of different um, plugins you want. So maybe just a core collection and then you can nip backwards and forwards from that to, to other collections if you want to. So how do you add those in now? Well, we'll go back to our edit and we'll just go into our insert section and you can see it's just defaulted to that new list. So I could um, add the MJUC in there. Um, but if I wanted to go back to my default list or a more expansive curated list, then how do I get to that? Well, again, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just go over to here and you'll see all of your different plugin collections and you can go back to your default if you, if you want to find something obscure that you, uh, you wouldn't usually use. Um, 
but it's very straightforward. So I hope you found that useful. Um, thumbs up is always appreciated, um, but don't feel you've got to subscribe. If you want to, then great. Uh, it'd be nice to see you here, but uh, I hope you have a very happy new year and have a look out for those free plugins because there's a lot of good ones out there this year.